Welcome back. My name's Al. This is part two of the Cute Cactus series, and today we are going to be creating the pot. If you love all things 3D, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so let's dive right in. Inside of ZBrush, I'm going to go to Initialize, Q Cube, and then set my resolution all the way down to one on the X, Y, and Z. This is going to give me a six-sided cube where I can just mask some of these vertices and then stretch it out and then scale them up or down. The goal is to create a terracotta pot. So whether you're doing this in ZBrush or Maya, Blender, whatever, it's pretty dang simple. So we're not going to walk through step by step how to do this. I am using ZModeler a lot, uh, using QMesh to pull out some of these polygons. And then I will add in my holding edges. So holding edges are edge loops that in ZBrush I go to Z modeler insert edge loop and I can just place these edge loops because when I divide my mesh or go into dynamic subdivide or like pressing three in Maya without holding edges everything is like way too rounded it's too mushy so these holding edges are what's going to give me those nice crisp edges around the rim and the bottom and top of the pot the goal of this is to create a cactus that's sitting in a pot but that's not really the only thing that's going on here. Anything that you create for your character, in my opinion, should also tell a story. And this pot is no different than that. So whether it's a weapon or a car or a vehicle, you should be able to look at it. And it should, one, tell a story, and two, enhance the character in some way, shape, or form. It should point towards the backstory of this character in some way, shape, or form. If you think of Junkrat from Overwatch, right? Look at his grenade launcher. It looks completely custom built by him from parts around the world. It's got this kind of crazy paint job on there with a smiley face at the end. So it's very tied to his character. So the same thing with this pot. I wanted this pot to have as much character as our actual character, the cactus. So instead of just making a pot, you can see I've added some dirt which is that sphere. I use Ziri Mesher just to lower the polygon count to make it more manageable. By doing that, having lower polygon counts to start with, it's much easier to control the mesh. If you've got tens of thousands of polygons that you're trying to push and pull, it's really hard to block out. So that's why I use Ziri Mesher to lower everything, get better topology. And when you press W on your keyboard inside a ZBrush, you can get into the gizmo and then you press the gear and that's where I'm finding all these little kind of modifiers, uh, those orange triangles that I can push and pull. And currently I'm using the, the taper modifier, so I can just taper this geometry um, to the left or right. Just push and pull it around. You can also use bend arc, bend curve. There's all kinds of powerful tools inside of there. And remember the whole goal is to have lots of character. So that's why I want it to be tapered. I could have just made a straight, boring pot, but that would not progress our little cactus any. Using Clip Curve, the Clip Curve brush allows me to basically grab the geometry and then press it into itself to make this really sharp edge at the top. So by pressing V on your keyboard, you're able to change the color of your mesh to black, which is a really quick way to see your silhouette. You can notice in the top left corner of my viewport, I've kind of minimized my silhouette box by default, but pressing V is a great way to check the silhouette. And with H polish, I can hit the sides and underneath a little bit just to flatten that up. Now I don't want it to be perfect. You can see it looks a little lumpy. I kind of want this to be a, a handmade, kind of battered around terracotta pot. And we'll talk a little bit more about the wear and tear whenever we dive into the details of this pot in a different video. But right now we're just blocking it out. So you'll notice that I'm constantly rotating around my pot. I want to check it from this angle, left, right, up, down. Make sure it reads well. Currently the dirt is not reading too well. And what I mean by that is from the side I can't really see the dirt sticking out. So when I press V, I can go into this uh, silhouette mode, kind of, so to speak, pull up that dirt, and now this is gonna give me a better silhouette. I haven't quite nailed down what angle I want this render to be at, at this point in time in the sculpt, 
So I'm checking all the angles. It's making sure that I can see what I want the viewers to see and be able to read very clearly. Hey, thank you. That's right, thank you. Right there, behind that screen, for watching my video. It really means a lot to me. If you got something out of this, please subscribe. I will see you next time.